Yeah, so gutation itself is is full, like, you know, there's stuff inside of that uh, exudate as well. It's more of like a pressure relief mechanism or a pressure relief valve. Think about like the stomata, for example, uh, being open and closed during the day. And obviously the opening and closing of the stomata is something that's driven by light, but you may have certain physical, you may have a pressure gradient in the soil where if the soil is really wet, like let's say your plant's super dry and about 30 minutes before the lights turn off, you water the bed or you water the, the plants or the pots, whatever they're in. What you've done is you've added a bunch of water. The plants are going to take it up because the stomata are open. There's the, going to be this transpiration stream. But there's also something to be said about the soil itself pushing water out, you know, because if it reaches field capacity, the additional moisture is just going to go from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. So as soon as those lights turn off, and the stomata close, the transpiration stream may be bottlenecked and there's a little pressure that can build up there because again, the soil is, is trying, soil is in the process of releasing moisture, right? The way that soil is released from moisture, has, I'm sorry, the way that yeah moisture is released from soils has partially to do with uh, evaporative pull through the transpiration stream, photosynthesis lights on, plants are like water pumps, that makes sense. But when the lights turn off and the soil still wants to shed off its moisture, if the plant is dry, and it's in the process of taking moisture up and the stomata are closed, then you have this other thing that goes on. And that's where gutation can get factored in. There's a pressure relief mechanism that allows for plants to continue taking up moisture and dissolved minerals and compounds that are present in the rhizosphere. It's also a good sign in terms of carbon proficiency. And I don't know if that's like a direct cause and effect or if it's more just a really, really strong correlation, but gutation almost always happens with plants that are like really, really healthy. In environments that are dialed in open yeah 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 so there's there's something to be said about that too but the actual gutation droplet itself again if you could collect enough to put a piece that made makes sense too when i was thinking i was like what if it was sweating out that and you could see that instead of just like having to vision like you know you couldn't i don't know yeah the gutation drink <laughs> yeah yeah there's the stomata and then i think the hydathodes h-y-d-a-t-h-o-d-e-s hydathodes are the ones that regulate this uh, phenomena of gutation